You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live, right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. We have a very special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, text your buddies, family members, or even share it on social media right now. And let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Before I bring my guest on, I do want to say that, you know, the thoughts come to you of who you can be and what you, what you can accomplish of how you can live right put that thought where it can grow where it can become strong where it can be made real what is this day for if not for living true to the highest and best of your possibilities now is the moment that your most treasured dreams have the opportunity to be made real Everywhere you go, everything you have and become begins with a thought, you know. So give the very best of those thoughts the room and the energy and the action to grow. Don't discard your best thoughts. Don't, don't, do not write them down, you know. How many thoughts have you lost because you didn't write them down or care enough to keep them stored away somewhere? You got to give them life. Give them time. Give them passion respect and appreciate those thoughts they are yours for a reason so take the best of them and use your life to make them happen take that from me coach dini that is my word and word is bond access a minority-run nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting survivors of domestic violence and sexual abuse our prevention division educates the public on healthy relationships, consent, and boundaries, while our recovery division provides support and resources after trauma. We offer workshops and coaching to individuals worldwide, helping them navigate complex issues and reclaim their power. We believe in the power of education and conversation. Our interdisciplinary approach challenges societal norms and empowers individuals to live authentically and purposefully. With the guidance of our accredited coaches, you can overcome obstacles, achieve your goals, and create the future you desire. Don't wait to take control of your life and your sexuality. Visit our website, SexSorg, to learn more about our services and how you can get involved. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You're listening to VRL. That's the Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeartRadio. And I am your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even past that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these awesome human beings. Well, you know, the ones who are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. In the ever-evolving tapestry of the music industry, Apollo Liberace emerges as a beacon of innovation and heartfelt expression, blending the raw emotion of R&B with the rhythmic storytelling of hip-hop and a touch of indie flair. Apollo's latest single, If I Said I Had the Answers, Would You Listen?, is a celebration of love's complex tapestry. Born into a life steeped in music and having traversed the globe, Apollo brings a mosaic of experiences to his art, making each note resonate with the authenticity of lived experience. Prepare to be captivated by the story of a man whose life is as melodious as his music. 
and this guy can dress like yo when i get ready to do my press run i'm gonna call him to style me no cap he's the best What's going on, brother? Can you hear me? How's it going? How's it going? All right. Yeah, man. So let's just jump right into it, man. So your journey from singing in church choir to becoming a hip-hop R&B sensation is definitely inspiring, man. What was the moment you realized that music was your true calling? Um, my, my older sister actually was... Uh, singing before me so I got to see her travel around doing she had like a few gospel albums so I got to see her travel around performing those in a bunch of different venues and I knew from kind of when I was about eight that's, that's for sure what I wanted to do 100% and I remember um, I played basketball also and that was another dream of mine of course I, I played basketball a lot of time but I believe in middle school probably like seventh grade I was like I decided I'm gonna just um, focus everything I still play basketball of course but what my true passion what I felt like I really loved the most was music so probably seventh grade I just decided like this is what I want to do with my life what did you do first? Uh, it was between I was I was just a kid, you know. I was just in middle school, but you know, my I was taught, you know, like if you want to do something, you got to put everything into it. So it was just I just played basketball, I'm just going out doing kid shit and basically. So around uh, that time, I just decided to spend all of my almost all of my time just focused on music instead of just going to play basketball and going to hang out so much, so, which I still do, but I decided that I'm going to just spend a uh, majority of my time just writing and writing lyrics. So that's what I did uh, from probably 10 years old to, to now. Absolutely, man. So reflecting on, like, growing up, your values, things like that, your diverse and rich journey through music, um, what do you think to you stands out as the most valuable lesson that you've learned along your journey? Oh, that's a good question. There's a bunch I want to be honest, but uh, <laughs> honestly, stay true to yourself and, and um, try to stay even kill. You know, it'll always be um, the highs, the highs, the highs, and you know, the lowest of the lows. And but uh, when you're going through either, just try to um, stay even kill, don't get too down on yourself, but also um, take in moments and um, celebrate them. Um, but don't um, don't stay there too long, you know. Just um, keep keep working, stay even kill, don't don't um, celebrate the W's too much or get down on the house too much, you know. That was the main thing, you know. I have my worst. My worst life, and I just had that um, perspective and mentality that um, I tell myself every time: this next day is gonna be great. This next day is gonna be great because this day, this, today was so bad. And then almost every time something amazing happened the next day. It sounds crazy, but uh, the truth, like just um, when you're at your worst, just um, try to stay positive as you can. You know, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, man, how do you celebrate? How do you measure your 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 wins, or what do you consider a win? Uh, you know, even a win, you can be even signing a new contract or getting a new deal. You know, I would um, just I, I like to be around personally you know, just people I love, people I care about, whether it's family or. Uh, or really close friends, which I don't have many of those, but just um, celebrate with them for the night, and then the next day get back to it and get back to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if I well, the song is called "If I Said I Had the Answers, Would You Listen." It speaks volumes about the complexities of love. Um, can you share with us the inspiration behind this track and the story that it tells? 
For sure. It's just um just um everything you go through during a relationship. I try to capture that in one song and one music video. I try to show all the emotions during that. Like we're talking about the highs and the lows that I show both during the video and, and that's pretty much what the song's about, just um find somebody worth um going through those tough times with it. Um, I think that's when a lasting relationship really is like because it's never going to be always good but just um, finding the person you want to go through these risks with the arguments or, or bad times and the person you want to go through these good times with also absolutely man um, are these is this song from a personal experience or this is uh, just a, your storytelling abilities uh, probably, I was say personal because you know everything Probably everything I, I write is more personal than, than not. It's so, so um, yeah, I would definitely say personal. I started the song some years ago and didn't really have all the words. So it just kind of a melody, and then I finished it up probably you know a few months ago, right before I released it. Hey, hey cool deal, cool deal, man. Um. You also have a music video uh, for the single called Wolves. Well, that's your girlfriend. Yeah, you know the song? Is. Yeah, yeah, that features your girlfriend in, in this she's, music she's video. video in there with me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. So how how has your relationship influenced your music, particularly this track? Um, it did a lot because, you know, there was a lot of real emotion, especially during the music video. Um, you know, it was a lot of a, a real emotion in that video, like real tears, real, real emotion. It was kind of it was different than anything I had done before. You know, having somebody close to me in the video with me, I've never really done that before. So it was definitely a, a new experience. And uh, yeah, it was something different than I've done for a video. You can kind of tell when I'm watching it. I think most people can tell us I'm um, authentic most of it. Yeah. So what makes this girlfriend or what makes this this relationship with uh, music and your personal relationship different? Because you, you said that you never done this before, like feature a girlfriend in your work. No, because, uh, you know, I just kind of keep things separate, to be honest. But, uh, and also, um, I'm I'm not wanting to get another experienced relationship, so that's another reason. So, uh, music always kind of first for me, so and that's hard for a lot of people. So I just chose to not even put um, somebody who had unless they had that understanding from the beginning. Yeah, man. I always said that you know sometimes I believe that creatives because I've been in that shoes. I've been in those shoes too, as a musician dating a non-musician person and them not understanding that you know writing creating is work uh you you could work a nine to five and then come home and do more work and it's like oh, all that work you do you know it's like you just don't understand you have to to be great you have to do it every day constantly oh, and i said you know what as a creator i need to find another creator who understands but then it started getting popular and she started getting jealous it's like oh my goodness yeah. what to do <laughs> it's a hard balance <laughs> it's a tricky balance for sure. Yeah. Have you figured it out? Maybe you could tell me some pointers. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, I don't think any uh, any relationship is figured out uh, fully. But I just think it comes from understanding, um, just understanding what the other one is, who they are as a person, you know, and what makes them do the things they do, and, and respecting those those things about. Um, their their character or their um, behavior or their, who they are, you know, in general. So he just understands and talking and really getting to know the person that you're supposed to be dating or whatever the case may be. But just you just learn each other more and more on deeper levels, and you gotta respect certain things. It's, it's really a trade-off. So because you gotta. You gotta, um, you know, sacrifice some things that you at least willing to. But I wouldn't, uh, without sacrificing who you are, I would say. Yeah. And what you believe in. Absolutely. All right, man. I have one more question for you, then we get into some music. Uh, but. Yeah, do it. 
as, as as we've been talking this entire segment, it's mostly about life experiences, and you know, there is your music. Life experiences play a major, significant role in your songwriting. Is there a is there a is there a specific event or something that will always be the center focus of your music? You know, I mean, you know it was his relationship with his mom. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, my bad. The center focus of our music I think, I think will always just be real life um, and real life experiences because um, I feel like I've been writing since I was like 10 years old. So I got to go through things, uh, write something new or, or tell a story or even if it's not a story, just experience certain energy that moved me and make a certain song. Like, it's just, even if it's just traveling out the country, seeing new places, that, that inspires me a lot. Um, probably anything, but just you know, going through terrible things. You, know, you don't want to go through those, but you know, those bring certain emotions and energies out and, and give them um, make certain songs. So I would say this real life experience is always. All right, guys, we are about to jump into the single If I Said I Had the Answers, Would You Listen by Apollo Liberace. And then we'll be right back to put him in our hot seat where he gets the chance to where he gets the chance to perform for us, whether that's singing, rapping, poetry, spoken word, telling a joke, telling a story, playing an instrument, giving advice, or doing nothing at all. That is cool as well. But for right now, we have If I Said I Had the Answers, Would You Listen? Stay tuned. If I told you I miss you, would you listen? If I told you I love you, would you listen? Yeah, I like to talk a lot, but you get dead. I got a lot of my mind and you're different. I just got a place if you want to go. I got big dreams if you want to see Just so you know you're never alone And it's just who you and me So cry alone Or you could cry with me if you want to Yeah, you got pain, I know That you can fight with me if you want to If I told you I'd try, would you listen? If I told you I'd cry, would you listen? Yeah, you like to talk a lot, but I get day You got the light on your mind, it don't different just got a place if you want to go I got big dreams if you want to see just so you know you're never alone and it's just you you and me so cry alone or you could cry with me if you want You got pain, I know That you can fight with me if you want to Yeah, you always bring the racket like bad men I see your legs and see it spread like Thanksgiving I give you all of me with no Thanksgiving Just need the reciprocal like it's division Meaning I want what I give back like college tuition And you bad like you doing it without permission I mean, you so bad, it's always forgiven. Listen to who much is tested, much is given. Yeah. The secret. 
secret to smart wealth is not just a great idea, but ongoing royalties from that idea. Imagine getting regular income from a song or movie, a fashion idea, or even a popular trademark. That's the breakthrough concept of the Royalties LLC app, an intellectual investing properties platform which allows you to invest in intellectual properties. Say goodbye to old school investing and say hello to passive income you can rely on. When you invest in intellectual properties owned by Royalties app, you will receive guaranteed monthly royalties for the term of their contract. Managing and selecting your royalty choices is fast and fun. For example, when you invest in music royalties, every time someone plays the song, whether it's a grocery store or a person streaming it, you earn a small payout called a royalty. Let your intuition and passions guide you to regular guaranteed monthly passive income. Visit royaltiespassiveincome.cash or search Royalties LLC and download on the Apple App Store or Android Play Store. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. That was Apollo Liberace. If I had the answers, would you listen? That is a dope, dope record. At first, I didn't know, you know, where the record was heading, but man, once it got into the groove, sweet spot every single, all the way to the end. <laughs> Very dope. All right, let's go ahead and bring them back. Yo, yo, you're back live with us and in our hot seat. What are you going to perform for us? I'm supposed to perform for uh, If you want to, go ahead. to. Sure, why not? Uh, but can I curse on here? I'm not sure. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Goes like this. Um, fuck it, I come in dumping. We running at the assumptions. Go tell them, because it's nothing. I formed a new hypothesis. None of these niggas got this shit. All of these talking shit. Highland toasters for moving lips. I'm moving ships, it's just moving clips when I do this shit. I'm moving quick, all these Vegas trips gonna make me sick. Fuck it. You don't know, I'm moving slow mo, rose gold by the boat, no, photo just for promo. Loco, I'm emotional, mind rolls like it's postal. Time zones by coastal, stop talking, I don't know you. Ooh, I just signed last week, now niggas hands out. Well, you ain't did shit for me, ain't no handouts. Paralyzed with wheelchairs, we still stand out. That's a little song. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, all right. That's what's up, man. So you have a lot of projects in the works, including a television show. Um, how do you balance your music career along with your other creative endeavors? Uh, I mean, I've also been a theorist as a kid, but just any honestly. Even though the show is, is unscripted, but anything um, anything creative that I could um, do that puts me out of my comfort zone, I'm, I'm definitely willing to do it. I feel like that's um, that, that's a, that excites me. And, um, if I'm not super busy, I get I get kind of bored. You know, I'm not a person that can even chill on vacation for more than two days, or I'll just get too antsy and ready to work or anything. So yeah, it's not it's not really hard for me. It's all saw entertainment and I just like um, I just like entertainment in general and any form of the art and any form of absolutely so man uh, looking ahead into the future what's next for you uh, especially this year uh, I just got a bunch of music dropping I got a single feature my bro Tyler Yodaway coming out soon um, he's a uh, Jay London and Post Malone's artist he's signed to happen you know he's doing his thing right now so we're excited to drop them and join us called Paradise is coming soon and it's just I've just got a bunch of music I'm, I'm looking to release that at least I think it's good but I can't wait to put it out alright alright and where can our listeners connect with you online Everywhere. There's Apollo Liberace on everything. A P O L L O L I D E R A C E on Apple Music, Instagram, you me if I'll hit you back, um, all of that. Right, all right, guys, as we bring this conversation with Apollo to a close, it's super clear that his journey is as vibrant, uh, a vibrant mosaic of experiences, emotions, and expressions 
Apollo, your dedication to craft and true art, your exploration of love's complexities, and your commitment to authenticity shines through in every note you play. Well, every every word you sing, you know. So thank you for sharing your heart, your music, your journey with us. To our listeners, let Apollo's story inspire you guys to find your own why and pursue your dreams with passion. And never, never forget the magic of creating something true to who you are. So until next time, keep listening, keep dreaming, and keep creating. Thank you so much, Apollo Liberace. Thank you, brother. Thanks for those words, too. Appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Take care. Have a great night. You too. I'm going. Thank you. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart's Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website which again is only one media group.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request some music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at only one media group.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive. What's up guys, it's Dini, and I want to welcome you on a journey of the heart and of the mind. These Fucking Feelings podcast is a beacon in the world of mental health advocacy, and it invites you to join a conversation that's changing lives. We are here to share, listen, and grow together. Led by the passionate Michael Bravery, alongside the insightful Rebecca and Crystal, This award-winning podcast dives deep into the human experience, from navigating relationships to coping with loss. No topic is off limits. It's about real stories and real emotions. These fucking feelings, it's more than just a show. It's a community, a place where vulnerable isn't just accepted, it's celebrated. You can find it across major platforms, including YouTube and Facebook Watch. This podcast is a touchstone for anyone seeking understanding and support. These fucking feelings podcast where every emotion is valid and every story matters. Tune in and transform the way you see mental health.